This is how empty the house can be sometimes during a plenary sessions in Uganda, despite a number of legislators having grown from 345 in 2010 to 375 in 2011. Reason? Nobody knows. Majority claim to be running and supervising projects in their constituencies, others attending functions, while others claim to be on foreign trips, but surprisingly, their names appear among those who attend the house sessions. More worrying, however, is the fact that some go as far as asking their colleagues to sign for them in the register, which vice, according to Ethics Minister, Father Simon Lokodo, clearly shows that majority are after money, but not a service delivery. There are some members of parliament who come to parliament, sign the book, and go back home without attending the plenary. It's even more painful to know that there are people who send others to come and sign for them and they don't show at all. That is very, very unbecoming of a serious leader. Worse still, many of these MPs are even absent in their constituencies, meaning they are using parliament as an excuse to dodge their voters and then also using their voters as an excuse to dodge plenary sessions. It's out of this that the Ethics Minister has proposed to Cabinet to amend the Constitution and once again grant voters the powers to recall their voters through collecting signatures. They were sent here not to come and stand and go home, but to go into the chambers and legislate. As such people should be recalled if only their constituents would take their position and act as it is their right. This, however, to Parliament Commissioner Emmanuel Lumala Dombo, the Speaker is to blame since she has up to now failed to put in place punitive measures for members who repeatedly dodge plenary sessions without giving her any proper reason. Dombo says it's bad to see that during contentious issues, the House is filled to capacity to an extent that some extra seats are added on the floor while during daily sessions, even the front seat of the ministers is empty. The Speaker should, because it is within her prerogative, take punitive measures against such members of parliament once it has been established. Rebecca Atengo, the Northern Region Minister, is among those who signed but never attended the session. I'm not going to live in denial. I want to apologize that on my part, I signed. The president had called a meeting in Entebbe uh, with some leaders of Northern Uganda. And as a minister of Northern Uganda, I needed to attend the meeting. Under the movement system, Voters not only had the powers to send someone to parliament, but also the powers to recall MPs from the August House in case a vote of no confidence was passed against a mentioned member by a given number of people in their constituencies. Mkita Moses, the best television.